We are already in the second Sunday of Advent, and we are called to prepare the way of the Lord. A voice of the one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, the way of the Lord. And what is this way of the Lord we are all called to prepare? The way of the Lord. There is a little difference between preparing a way for the Lord and a way of the Lord or the way of the Lord. There is a little difference. Preparing a way, the way for and the way of the Lord. So what is the way of the Lord that we are all called to prepare? What is the way of the Lord? The way of the Lord is the way of the cross. In case we have forgotten, the way of the Lord is the way of the cross. And what is the way of the cross? It is the way of love. We are in Advent. And this voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Prepare the way of the cross. Prepare the way of love for the Lord. And how do we do that? The voice of the one crying out in the wilderness tells us to level all the mountains. Bring low all the mountains. The mountain of love, sorry, the mountain of pride, we should bring it low. The mountain of selfishness, we should bring it low. The mountain of self-centeredness, we should bring that mountain low. Because the way of the Lord is the way of cross, and the way of cross is the way of love, so we should level all the mountains. Mountain of pride, level it. Mountain of selfishness, bring it down. Mountain of self-centeredness, level it. And this voice continues. We should fill all the valleys. Fill all the valleys. The valley of apathy, we should fill it. Fill it with love. The valley of indifference, we should fill it with love. The valley of insensitivity, we should fill it with love. Because we are preparing the way of the Lord, and the way of the Lord is the way of the cross, and the way of the cross is the way of love. That is what Advent is all about. Preparing the way of the Lord, the way of love. In the second reading, St. Paul tells us that we should always increase in love. Increase in love more and more. Increase in love. Increase in knowledge. And finally, in that prayer that St. Paul made to the church in Philippi, he said that he is praying that we should be able to discern what is of value. We should be able to discern what is of value. In this time of preparation for Christmas, in this time of preparation for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, sometimes we misplace values. Sometimes we misplace values. And St. Paul is reminding us in this prayer that God will help us to discern what is of value. We should pay attention to what matters and not what doesn't really matter a lot. And what is it that matters in this time of Advent and Christmas? Love. 
love of Christ, love of neighbor. Christmas and Advent is a time of preparation and a time of celebration of Christ's love. God loved us so much and he gave us himself in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. And love is all about giving. Love is all about self-giving. Love is also all about giving something material and immaterial. Think about this. Someone that you love, you will try to spend time with this person. Someone that you love, you will try to give this person attention. Someone that you love, you also try to give this person gifts because you love this person. Right now, we are making budgets. We are preparing and making budgets. This Christmas, I'm going to buy a new car. I'm going to buy a new house. I'm going to change my clothes. I'm going to change my shoes. I'm going to do... Those things are important. But then, we are being called to make sure that we discern what is of value. As a community, holy apostles, we have decided to embark on a jolly project. And this jolly project is to make Christmas a joyful Christmas for everyone. To show love, to share love, and to give love. Maybe you have seen the video that went out, but if you have not, let me just give a brief information on this jolly project. As a community here, Holy Apostles, we have decided to embark on this jolly project in which we contribute, we give, so that we can also reach out to those who are in need, those who are struggling, those who are poor, those who are suffering. There are so many of our families here, you may not know, you may not see them, but they are here among us. We have the poor among us. We have those who are struggling financially, emotionally among us. So as a community, we have decided to contribute as part of what we are going to do this Advent so that the Christmas of everyone will be a joyful Christmas. We also have the rich among us. I mean, nobody is so poor, but then we have those who are very rich and generous also. So thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you for giving. So this year, we are not going to do any giving three. We want to be more concrete. We want to reach out to families who are in need. So we are calling on everyone to please contribute, we are asking for checks and cash donations. This time around, we are not collecting any gift cards. We want just cash and check, so that when we gather these together, we can reach out to those people, those individuals, those families that are really struggling. You can send in your check or your cash donation to the parish office, or you can donate online. And that is one of the things that we should always put as our Christmas or our Advent budget. Giving, helping, reaching out to those who are in need. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare the way of the Lord, the way of the cross, and the way of love. Let us pray that God will help us to discern what is of value, and that is love, and to follow the path of love. As we continue in this our Advent journey, 
We have lit the second candle, which is the candle of love. Think about how you can show love this week. Think about how you can give. And think about how you can really show someone that he or she is valued. May the good Lord bless you and bless these words in your hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.